guys, Cindy Otter here with My Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty well. We are here with our explorations of me for this month. Uh, this was last month, you know, what are the positives of social media. So we had fun with that. Now this month it is, let me look, it says, do you have a daily routine? Does it help you? If it, What happens if you don't stick to it? All right, well, I can tell you right now, um, I have kind of a daily routine. Uh, if I don't stick to it, I kind of get grumpy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some paint on the background here. And then I'm going to start working with my daily routine. I may do it in some text. I may do it, um, I think I'll probably do it just handwriting. But I'm going to give you an idea of what my routine is and what happens if I don't kind of stick to my routine. All right. So I'll come back at the end and we'll chit chat about it. And I hope you enjoy.
right guys so <laughs> I, I'm sorry that was so long I just got into playing um, playing with paint playing with the the retarder um, messing around with some ink and some stamps I just I was in the zone I was playing and I was enjoying so and I think that's what a lot of art is all about um, I've got a couple of these little borders here that were done in a border swap uh, quite a few years ago with Crazy Island Family. So I am going to use these on here just because I want to. And I want to use up stuff that's laying around here on my desk. So these are going to be used on here. Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and start um, my routine. Uh, I've been thinking about how I want to do it. And I really don't want just white blobs in here. Um... I don't know maybe I should just do some white circles and you know have it go I'm not really positive yet but I want to write what my routine is I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of it and then at the end we'll you know whatever else I happen to add the first thing I do is I sleep as long as I can and the reason I say that is because sleep is hard to get um, there's a lot of times at night you know I'll only get an hour and a half two hours three hours sleep if that so if I'm sleeping I stay asleep and it's perfect because my husband understands and he will keep Pucky um, away because she likes to attack me first thing in the morning so that's the first thing I do of course I normally get up pop in the shower clean my teeth you know the, all the things you do to get ready in the morning um, third thing I do is I head to the coffee pot don't talk to me before the coffee pot don't um, I wonder if I can write on these probably not um, I don't I don't think before I have my coffee it's so funny because my husband's a morning person and I'll walk out in the kitchen and I'll get all these questions thrown at me I'll just look at him I'm like really I'm sorry I know you're not awake yet yeah that's exactly right so you know what? I'm just gonna do my paint why not and paint my circles um, so that you know that is a, a definite morning routine where'd my paintbrush go the one I want. where's the one I want right here duh um, so yeah it's headed for my coffee pot uh, from there while I'm drinking my coffee I'll normally hang out on the couch because for some reason Pucky's got it in her head that she has to go back to sleep on mama's lap for about a half an hour in the morning so what we do is i sit on the couch i'll check up on my phone look at my email that kind of stuff while pucky gets her little nap um you know another thing i do while i'm sitting there drinking my coffee is i'm going to assess my body now what I mean by that is any of you that are in chronic pain you know exactly what I'm talking about basically I will do like a visual the whole way down my body like in my head um, I think about each part of my body and I think about where it stands as far as pain uh, there are some mornings that I wake up and I don't have to think about it I know exactly what's going on because it's just so mean and obtrusive so sit there drinking my coffee okay how's the back today is it good enough to go into the art room is it good enough to run to the dollar tree um you know how good is it what's what is it doing today is it okay so that's you know one of my very first things i do now once i decide um my body's body is either okay or not okay then i have options if my body's just eh, not doing great i'm just gonna move these before i glue them in um, if my body's not going, doing great, then I have to realize, okay, can I sit in the art room for any length of time? Uh, if it's not doing that well, the answer is usually no. And then what I have to do um, is I have to plan a couch day, what I call a couch day. So I have an art case all set up out on my coffee table so that I can either work in my personal journal, I can um, work in just a regular art journal um, I can doodle I have a couple composition notebooks where I you know practice drawing things that kind of stuff so that's out there um, or you know is it is it really bad and if it's really bad I'm going right straight back to bed now when I do that 
I also have certain art supplies that I can get to in the bedroom and you know sometimes when it's that bad I really don't even want art supplies so there's not a huge kit in there there's just enough that you know if I feel like gluing something on paper I can um, when that happens uh, I have a TV that's actually uh, on wheels that I can move to the end of the bed and I can sit there, I can watch TV, I can relax and just let my body rest the way it needs to. So that's kind of my routine for the day. Um, there are so many other things beyond that. If, if I don't listen to my body and I just decide I'm going to do what I want to do, um, it just causes me more pain down the road. So that's why that obsession, you know, checking my body, doing that visual and doing that feeling um, really helps me to figure out what I'm going to be able to do that day. So that is my routine. Um, now what's good about it? Well, if I'm in a normal pain range, then I get to play in my art. Um, I'll be able to cook dinner for my hubby. I have to do it a little different, but I'll, I'll tell you in just a second. Let me dry these so I can start writing in them. All right, so let's say we're going to try to do today as an example. All right, here's today. Here's my start. Yep, my pen is not going to work. Come on, marker. Don't mind my, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. my lines aren't perfect, and I really don't care. They don't need to be because I'm just playing. All right, so here's the start of my day. So I'm gonna, first of all, sleep as long as I can. And again, we already talked about that and that's because of the, the pain. All right, um, up and shower, do the normal morning bathroom routine things you know uh, we all have to do it sometimes there's days when I know I just can't even stand up that I gotta get a paint pen I can't even stand up that long um, to do the showers and stuff so you know you do what you have to I go in and clean up you know the best I can and just work at um, you know being alive right so, like I said, the first one is sleep as long as I can. Second one is my normal bathroom routine, which I'll write that in in a minute. Third one is the big one. Coffee! Uh, my granddaughter, Haley, she's so funny. When she stayed with us when we were up in New York, she, she'd come out of the bedroom in the morning. Um, she, was always, she always liked to sleep with Grandma. And she'd come out and she'd be like, Grandma, and she'd be like a robot. Grandma needs coffee! <laughs> She was just a little stinker, but I love her to death. Um, so yeah, next one is coffee. That's that's not an option. That's a, a given. So this is my normal bathroom routine. I should say wake up routine. All right. Okay, so the next one is coffee. And that is a definite need. All right. All right, after our coffee, like I said, this is where um, my day starts getting a little bit more where it makes sense. And while I'm drinking coffee, I'm going to assess my body. I'm going to figure out pain level, um, activity level, and um, action level, which means what can I do that day. All right, this is a very, um, it's got to be a normal portion of my life, of my daily routine, and the reason being is because you can't if you don't do this, you end up causing yourself so much more pain than you really need. Now that's on the chronic pain perspective. And again, you guys are going to see that chronic pain is in here because that is my daily life. I live with it. I deal with it. 
and I have to accept it. So, all right. So once my body, um, you know, I figured out the pain levels. I'm just going to put in here what I do on certain pain level days. Let me just do this one while I'm sitting here. Yeah, they don't have to be perfect. I like the I like the messy sketch type thing. Have you noticed? All right. So if we are in our normal, what this is my normal pain level, which is a seven. It never goes below that, and it hasn't went below that since the day I had my accident. All right, so that's my normal. On my normal pain level day, um, I will do art, maybe laundry, some type of cleaning. Now, this is not... Like, I don't come in my art room and do bam, 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 and do a lot of stuff. I'll come in, maybe do one video, and then that's it in the art room. Then I take a break. Then maybe I'll throw a load of laundry in, and I take a break. Um, sometimes my hubby will bring the laundry to me on the couch so that I can fold it there. Uh, cleaning. All right, maybe this is the day that I'm going to clean the bathrooms. All right, maybe two days from now I'm going to do a little bit of vacuuming. Maybe two days after that or three days after that, maybe I'm going to dust, which I hate dusting, so I do that very rarely. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so this gives you an idea. Uh, when, and I'm going to put on here, take breaks. So that's my normal pain day is a seven. Okay, so a higher pain, I'm going to say is like an 8 to a 9 for me. I'm very lucky I have a high pain tolerance, so I can deal with high pain a lot better, I think, than some people may be able to. Um, but that's just how I am. I've always been that way. So on my higher pain level day, um, I will decide if it's the art. I can be in the art room. I'm going to say AR and I'm going to say no. All right, so then I know it's a couch day. Now, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm having a lot of problems with my lower back, that's where the massive pain is, a lot of time I'm going to be laying down. Okay. Now, when I lay down, um, I can either sketch or read or watch movies. Um, if it's not my back and let's say uh, my fibro is really mad, let's say my, I'm in my normal seven for my back pain and my fibro is really kicking up a fit, giving me a flare. So I consider, you know, let's say this is the, the fibro, all right? Now, when I'm doing the fibro with an eight or nine, sometimes I can sit and do art on the couch. But honestly, a lot of times, um, my fibro uh, basically basically stays in my shoulders, in my middle back, my shoulders, not my neck. So it's kind of hard to sit up. Other than that, I'll just revert and do the same things I'm doing here. Okay, that's those days. Now, if my pain goes above a nine, those days, honestly, it's very hard to even get out of bed. All right, so I will stay in my bed. Hubs will bring in my coffee. Um, he may bring in um, something to eat. Uh, he'll, he'll make sure I've got my TV. So let's say I get my art, coffee. You notice the theme here? Um, coffee's in all these two. Uh, stay in bed, I get my art, I get my coffee, hubs will get me food and make sure my TV is hooked up. 
Now when I say making sure my TV is hooked up, I actually have it on a roll away stand so I can pull it out and bring it up like to the edge of my bed so that my controllers reach it. Or when it, I'm not using it, I take it and I put it back in a corner of the bedroom. So it works out really well. Now this is my normal routine and this is where when I, I want to find some, let's use some red. Um, if I don't follow this normal routine, several things happen. One, I end up in more pain. Let's get that on there right there. Um, I will end up very depressed because of having more pain, even though I did it myself. Um, I will also be grumpy because of the pain. So if you notice there's a common theme here, I have to um, pretty much stay um, wherever I need to because of my pain that day. So if I don't listen to it, again, I'm in trouble. These are lessons I've learned throughout the whole chronic pain. Um, it's not something that I relish on anybody, uh, but if you are living in chronic pain, take an idea to try some type of a routine such as this, or relook at what you're doing in your life. And another thing, um, just a little piece of advice on that, is you've got to be able to, um, you've got to be able to trust yourself, and you've got to be able to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for, flexible. And hopefully whomever lives around you, they will uh, tell you or understand what you're going through. Right? And that's a whole total another discussion. But for this month, for the question for Explorations of Me, um, these are my answers. This is what my daily routine is. If I don't do it, I'm going to end up in so much pain, I will be just miserable for, you know, weeks. So I don't do that. I choose not to be miserable. Um, I choose to listen to my body. I choose to do the best I can with what I've got. And I've also chosen to accept the fact that I can't always go and do. And those are the big, huge things about this whole chronic pain journey is the exception. Um, if you don't accept it, you're going to overdo. You're going to um, make your life more miserable. And it's just not fun that way. It really is not. I don't know why I wanted to put those on there, but I did. I just thought they were kind of cool. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, finish up this page. I want to doodle a little bit, um, put some Humpty Humps in here, whatever. And then we will be all set for this month. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And like I said, let me go ahead, do a little bit more doodling, and then we'll wrap it up at the end and on for another month. Thanks for watching. Hold on.
right, guys, so I think I'm done with this page. I just, you know, I have fun playing, and I think that's what a lot of this art is all about. So I just wanted to show you a bunch of that background, um, just marks I've made, and just have fun with it. So there you go. There is my routine, my daily routine. Um, I can't wait to see what yours is. I'd love to see how different it is. Uh, whether you have chronic pain or you don't have chronic pain, I would love to see um, what your day consists of. So don't forget um, to check out the other artists. Their links are in the description box below. We've got Gina, Barbara, and Leslie. Uh, let's see what their schedules are about. I'm excited to see those as well. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.